Hey boo, hey Zorley, how you feeling, how you feeling, how you feeling? You feeling good? That's good, oh, hold on girl, this year in time, pop out. We ain't got time for that. But what we do got time for is uh, knowing what the difference is between booth rent and commission, like which one is good, what's the pros and cons, what it hitting for, girl? I got you, I got you. You know why I got you? Baby girl got experience in both of them, both of them, you know what I'm saying? So if you are interested in hearing what I have to say, my experience in it, I'm gonna need you to just go ahead and keep on watching it, girl, okay? <laughs> Let me throw this transition in here real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, here we go. Okay, boo, so, you know, the little transition happened, you know, so I'm here, right? But before, whoa, 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 before I give you the tea, the all the juice that you need, I'm gonna need for you to go ahead Real quick, real, 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 real quick. I even put it in the description box. I'm gonna need you to like look down in the description box and I'm gonna need you to go ahead and follow me on my on my IG, Just Asian J, cause you know, homegirl be doing them reels and stuff. <laughs> I'll be loving it like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I'll be, be, be killing it though, you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, uh, you gotta go over there and see what it'll be looking like, what I'll be doing, cause I'll be hitting it. I'll be, uh, I'll be like, send the motherfucking phones. <laughs> and then we can just stop. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll be like over there. Okay, you wanna find out? You wanna find out? Go ahead, I'm gonna put, put it right here. Just say J, put it down in the description box. Y'all look over there. All right, so let's get with it. Let's talk about booth rent versus commission. So, now mind you, the state I live in is Ohio, so we offer, they offer booth rent and commission. Some states may not. I think New York doesn't offer booth rent. I thought that's what I saw. I don't know. But I know here in Ohio, here in Ohio, Ohio, Ohio <laughs> they offer uh they offer that. So booth rent is okay. So booth rent is rather you're in a nail shop and you pay for the station and or you um kind of get like a space and you pay for like, like a salon suite and you pay for that. You know, it's like, I guess different variations of it, but that's basically what it is. And so when you have booth rent, you set your own price, you buy your own products, you, you basically supply everything. So even if it's just a nail table, like they provided the nail shop and you sit at the table, depending on, depending, a little bit of variation of the nail shop but like when you sit at that table and you provide all the products you provide all the products you do the pricing you literally everything everything you can think of towels everything you can think of that you would have to provide for the services that you offer you can also determine what services you want to offer okay but then with that it comes at a price. So it could be $100 a week, $125 a week, $75 a week, and you would have to pay that. Um, you and the, um, you would have keys to, hopefully, in my experience, you had keys. So I had keys. So you would have keys to the building. They would say that the building hours are between, like I have one place that they said the building hours is between Let's just say, I think she said 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. I think that's what she said. The building hours, but the hours of operation for the shop was 10 to 7. So basically, if I wanted to have somebody come in at 6 in the morning to get their nails done, I can. The other shop that I had, she didn't have any hours for the building. So if I wanted to do somebody at 2 in the morning, I can, I had the key, I had the code to the building, all that, okay? Um, yeah, that's basically all that booth rent. I think that's all that booth rent, like really like, that's all I have to cover right now, okay? Now, commission, commission is where you work into a nail shop, kind of like a, I guess in my area, it's really like a um, Asian owned shop and you go into the Asian or white, Asian or white, okay? And then you'll go into these shops. They already have the clientele. They already have the supplies. 
they already have their prices set they already offer they already know the services that they offer they for the most part they have the steps i will say this in the asians the asian shops that i worked in in the white shop that i did work in they had the pedicures like start to finish it wasn't winging it it wasn't what you remember from nail school it's literally like all right, step one is this, step two is this. And like, you know, they had different type of pedicures. So like, oh, on this the deluxe, you got the towels. And on this one, you got this and that. Like, you know, okay, cool. So like, right, okay. So they have a process of how you do it. And literally all you do is show up, do these services. But when you do these services, so let's just say a service is $35, $40, you would get... A commission like it would be off based off a percentage so some shops is 50 50 and other shops is 60 40. now depending on how long you're in the shop and like i guess the the setup of the shop or like i don't know but it could possibly get to 70 30 but i've never been in a shop that long to do 70 30 and I feel like you look like, I don't know, they're 70, 30, that's, and they provide everything. Like, you must be providing them really good flow. Like, people coming for you and you only damn near. Like, 70, 30, or you, you put in some time. <laughs> but I've never seen 70, 30. I always seen 50, 50 or 60, 40. Now, depending on what will get you 50, 50, is if I know that when I very first got out of nail school, um, there was some complaints that people had. <laughs> about like my work and so at first I started out at 60 40 but because there was complaints she took me down to 50 50 I wasn't really fucking with it but I said all right bet but um so I feel like that was possibly why you would get 50 50 or maybe they're like is damn near a blessing for you to be in their shop type shit I don't know I don't know I I haven't come across 50 50 I really come across a lot of 60 40 oh and another thing with commission let me go back the, I guess the difference between booth rent and commission is that you get to pick your schedule. Meaning like you don't answer to nobody, no freaking body when you're on booth rent. You answer to yourself. You just got pay whoever you got to pay. Okay. Like if you don't want to do a client, you don't do a client. You, if you say I'm coming in for two hours, you're coming in for two hours. That's your business. Right. But when you're over here with commission, it's like, they say like, okay, you can have Sunday, Monday off or, oh, I need Sunday, Monday off. And I, I need to be off by this time. And I was like, okay, well, you know, like it's very basically a job in a sense, but for nails. So it's like, if they're open, cause I, there was a shop that I went to that was open seven days out of the week. And they was like, so how many days do you want to be off? And I'm like, M Sunday, Monday, two days. Like, what, like, I didn't know you were open on Sunday. They was like, yeah. And they was like, so can you be here from basically open and close on the other days? And I'm like, yeah. In my head, I'm like, what the no, I don't want to, I don't want you to control my life. Like, and that's kind of it. So let's talk about the cons. I guess that's like the, the over thing, but the pros, we're going to like, kind of like follow me. Okay. So like the pros of boofering is that you are literally in control of your own shit. You do what you want to do, how you want to do it. You answer to absolutely no one. But like I said, every week, you better pay that person. Here's the problem. Here is the problem. If you don't have clientele and you over here trying to get clientele, if you ain't got no cushion, paying booth rent, that's like an extra stressor. And depending on the location of where you're at, that can be an issue because there, you know, like, there's some places that there's a nail shop in a building, but the building does not look like a nail shop. The building doesn't look like anything that like... It may look like, you know, an office building. Well, you don't think people are doing nails in an office building. Like, you know, you think of office stuff. So it's like, that may be hard getting people in, just getting your name out there to get clientele, but you still have to pay this person every week because you'll sign a contract. And so you have to pay them. And then it's like, it really doesn't matter if you have clients or not, you have to pay them. Now on the flip side of that, is that basically this the shop is, is is established like you know people are coming through people are coming in and it's like but you know you gotta i personally feel like you're gonna have to work fast like faster because i feel like the shops that i've been in on on the commission side their pricing wasn't that it wasn't that high it wasn't really that like forty dollars uh 
It, it, it really wasn't that much. And then when you were in the beginning, in the beginning, in the freaking beginning of commission, especially the Asian owned shops, especially, cause oh, I'll say this, in the white shops, they wasn't doing acrylic, they was doing dip, okay? <laughs> and then, so in the Asians, like obviously they're doing acrylic, but it's like, if you're new, you gotta work your way up to that. Like you basically start off with pedicures and then you may go to a gel manicure. Those are like, I don't know, 35, 35 to $55, $65. And it's like a 60, 40 split. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like, but imagine how, I mean, how much time you had to do. It's, it's kind of, you got to work fast to make this, you know, work for you. And then it's like, okay, well, it's, it's just, sometimes that can be like, it, like depending on how much their services are, like there, there's one shop that I was looking at where her full set prices was $25. So what you said? Twenty five dollars? Bitch, what? Who making money off of that? Ain't nobody make twenty five dollars put that bad boy in half. What is that? I'm not doing math like that. Twelve fifty? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So I'm just saying, like, so it all depends on what the prices are, and then you know whatever. Then, like the the <laughs> the other pro to booth rent is is that you get to um dictate the services that you offer if you don't want to do pedicures you don't have to do pedicures i mean you leave leaving money on the table but you don't have to do that you don't have to do toes if you don't want to do toes you don't have to do gel manicure if you don't want to do gel manicure if you like you get to tailor it how you want to tailor that bad boy baby okay on the commission side, on the commission side, you don't necessarily get to do that because the shop is already established. They already have the pricing, they already have the services. So if somebody come in and they want a gel manicure, I want to use it. Well, there's a client, we offer gel manicures, do the gel manicure or damn nearly like at this point. Like why don't, you, I just don't want to do it. So it doesn't really work that way. So it's kind of like, it's really like a job over, over, in my opinion, over there. It's just, it gives you the luxury of not having to supply a lot of stuff. And then low-key gives you the luxury of blaming something back on someone else because it's like you're in, you're working for them. Like, I mean, technically, you're like an independent contractor or they'll have you get your, like, whatever. But technically, this your shop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Right, like if they don't like it, then it's like you know you can call somebody else over, the owner, because they probably have more experience to you. You could call them over, and they could be like, "Oh, okay, yeah," blah, blah, blah. and and then they'll help you. You don't necessarily get that cushion when you're over there for booth rent, bitch. You run you run your ship how you run your ship. Some people got good customer service people. Some people don't. But either way it goes, you need to run your, you know what I'm saying? You can run your ship. Now, like, okay, obviously there's a lot of pros and cons. Now, let's say, can you make booth rent work for you? Absolutely. You absolutely can. Because some people just do not do well. With uh, somebody telling me what to do. <laughs> I like to be in control of my own life. I feel when I don't have control over my own life and what I want to do, when I want to do it, I get, I get mad. I get mad. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, who do you think you are telling me I can't do something? What? What? I don't do well with rules. I only, <laughs> I only do well with rules that I know I cannot handle the consequences like, you know, going to jail or some shit like that. But the other ones, I be like, who's supposed to follow that? Because I know you ain't talking to me. That's that's what I'll be thinking about. I'll be like, oh, a gel manicure walk through. I'll be like, yeah, you want, you want no, I don't want that. You <laughs> no, I don't do that. But I mean, nah, like if you set if you set yourself up to do whatever it is, do whatever it is. So if you went to the nail shop and you know they offer gel manicure, do the damn gel manicure. But you know, I don't, I don't, no. Like it's all. Oh. If somebody was to come to me talking about, can you do nail forms? On the booth ring side, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't offer that. I, I, I don't know. 
If they offer that shit, you gotta do it over there on the commission side. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't do well with rules. I just don't do well with them. And I feel like some rules are meant to be broken. We just gotta figure out which one's meant to be broken. You know what I'm saying? I could be tripping. I could be tripping. Nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, I do feel like you can make booth rent work for you. Um, I also feel like you can make commission work for you because if you like structure, and I, I would say the main thing to look at with the commission is their pricing of their services. Like, is their pricing a good pricing? Because if you split that in half, so is it, is twenty five? Is something on there is like fifty dollars, and they split that in half is 25 okay for you like is that okay for you and if that is okay then cool go with it but i will say like if you go for the commission side like depending on the shop i would say get your acrylic game up so therefore you can like kind of like get to the money get to the money y'all oh uh, that's a whole lot of money <laughs> double for real okay because them girls be wanting them more garlic now, you know what I'm saying? What? Like, 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 oh. So, so yeah, so that's basically what the sum up of uh, booth rent versus commission. Basically, you are your own boss versus somebody else is technically your boss because you do have to answer to somebody. If you don't go into work, then you have to tell them why you're not going in versus you could just like, cancel somebody i don't know why but or if you don't have anybody booked that day you don't have to go it's not necessarily the same thing because you don't know if there's going to be a client coming or not it could be a slow day but you don't know that versus if you have a booking site in your own you know it's a slow day because ain't, ain't nobody booked but yes, that is the pros and the cons, the differences between booth rent versus commission. You can be your own boss. I would say, I would say, if you take the booth rent way, give yourself a cushion, uh, have a clientele, have a clientele. And make sure whatever the pricing is for the booth rent is something you can handle on top of your other bills. Like, is this something that's like, don't be in la la land with it. Like, oh yeah, I could, no, 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 no. Is this 125, this 100, this 75, this 50? Is this like, do you have another job? Like, do you have another source of income? Where is this, this, this money coming from? Don't, do not have it where it's, um, Oh, I can get four clients and I can pay that easily. Or because you might not get four clients. If you're starting out, you might not get that. Or you might just get the four clients and all you made was booth rent. But then you try to eat. You know what I'm saying? Booth rent typically, if you do weekly or bi weekly, or I've never came across booth rent monthly, but you know, it can be. I'm just saying, like, you gonna have to grind. You gonna have to hustle a whole nother type of different hustle that I don't think nail school prepared us for. You got, you know, what I'm saying like on some some low key drug dealer shit on some like I'm a hustler, baby. I'm a hustle. Like you gotta get out here in the streets and figure out what gonna get these in your chair and how they gonna pay you. Like I gotta eat. I gotta pay these bills. I gotta do X, Y, and Z. Quit fucking playing when we sit your ass down in this chair. You want a long set? Do you want a long, you want the most, no, I'm just playing, but do you, bitch, you want to spend some money today? Let's spend some money. <laughs> Let's add on some shit. Don't do that like that. But I'm just saying, I'll upsell some shit. Yes, bitch, we got to eat. I don't think people be telling y'all, like, being a full-time nail tech, that shit, for me, is scary as fuck. Why is it scary as fuck? I know this has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm talking about, what the title is, but let me just tell you. Why is it scary? Because you are relying on people who have, everybody got something going on in their life, right? You were relying on these people to feed you. You are relying on these people to pay your bills. People can cancel people. I'm not saying that it's not possible. I'm not saying that. Like it is, like, you know, it's all possible, but that shit's scary. <laughs> that shit's scary, like, no, hell no. 
hell the fuck. No, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> Better get your streams of income up, okay? That's why you here. Uh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we go, because we about to dismiss. We, have, we about to have early dismissal. Before we go, you subscribe to Asia J. I am not your average nail tech. No, baby. What is she? What is she? She tells you to build your streams of income because relying on these people, aka your clients, to come through and pay you for your bills so you and your family can eat is just wild to me. Fuck no. Get your streams of income up because on some days, them bitches might cancel. Some days they may come through, but either way it goes, I'm eating regardless. That's all I got to say. Okay, so you you, you rocking with that message because that's my overall message. If you rocking with that message, I'm going to need you to hit the subscribe button. Yeah, yeah. And then you really rocking with it, I'm going to need you to put it in the comment section. Hashtag let's be homegirls. Hashtag let's eat because huh, I love me to eat. Bitch, I'm a fat ass. I love me some tacos. I'm about to get some tacos later on. I know this ain't got nothing to do with it, but I'm just saying that's how much I like to eat. So I ain't got time to play with y'all hubs. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what the energy I want. Like, y'all y'all got me fucked up. That's what, that's what I said. But it kind of ways i kind of went off on a rant i don't even know if this is gonna be in here but if it is shout out to y'all because y'all my real ones because you just subscribed to comment and then uh i'm gonna see you on the next video because i gotta give you some more shit i gotta open up your mind because you know what i'm saying we gotta get this money we gotta get this back okay so i'm gonna holler at you later okay peace